the Trump presidency and the president making a demand of the Department of Justice. He wants an investigation into whether his campaign was surveilled for political purposes. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez is in the control room with details. Elliot. Well, Rudabay, President Trump met at the White House this afternoon with the Deputy Attorney General and FBI Director after complaints by the President that the FBI spied on his presidential campaign. As he is known to do, the President is attacking the FBI and the Justice Department and accusing them of planting a mole in his campaign. President Trump sent a tweet this weekend demanding an investigation into reports the FBI planted an informant into his presidential campaign. If they were using uh, somebody to engage the Trump campaign, was there judicial oversight? Sources tell CBS News the FBI informant was instructed to make contact with at least three Trump campaign advisors, Carter Page, George Papadopoulos, and Sam Clovis, after the Bureau learned they had suspicious contacts with Russian officials. Everything I have seen, it would have been negligent for the FBI not to take steps to protect right. the country in the midst of information it was receiving. Critics of the president are blasting him for making the demand, saying it's inappropriate given the Department of Justice's history of independence from the White House. I find it outrageous that the president's allies are in effect playing uh, fast and loose with confidential information. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein has turned the investigation over to the Inspector General to investigate whether there was any impropriety. He said if anyone did infiltrate or surveil participants, we need to know about it. Rosenstein attended an event where he joked about his notoriety. J. Edgar Hoover was known for lunching here when he served as the director of the FBI. Sometimes onlookers reportedly would recognize Hoover while he was here and they would gather to watch him so the hotel staff would sneak him out through the kitchen and out the back door. And when I got this job, I remember being grateful that I would not have to worry about that sort of thing. <laughs> Deputy attorneys general are very low profile. House Intelligence Committee Chair Devin Nunes first raised the issue with the DOJ, demanding all documents related to the informant. But officials rejected the request, warning his exposure would put the informant in danger. Now, CBS News has not revealed the name of the informant, although the name has been released in other media outlets on the Internet. Democrats say President Trump is simply trying to undermine the special counsel's investigation by calling the informant a spy and demanding an explanation of his role.